For me, Gary Rower is a great appointment, but more than anything, I'm really, really delighted that we've grabbed and seized the initiative. We've got it done and dusted, and we've not messed about all summer, which I think the Stoke Board have been guilty of in the past, notably with Lambert's appointment. Shawcross said it, and they've gone and done it, which we have to praise uh, the board for. His record's quite good. Um, he's apparently known to play long ball, but you know what? If he gets us up to the Premiership, I would not care one bit what style of football we play. Hi, this is Sam Cam once again on Bear Pit TV and today I'm talking about the recently appointed Gary Rowett. I'd say it's an OK appointment. He's done well at Birmingham, he's done well at Burton, he's done well at Derby, got him into the playoffs. I hope he gets us promoted. He ho I hope he brings in Matty Ridgeway, banging 22 odd goals a season and Rory Delap to bring uh, to bring in that legendary long throws and teach them to Moritz Bauer so he can get those good-headed goals from throwing. Thanks very much, guys. See you later. Rowe, it's probably gone down as one of the best managerial appointments Stoke have had in years when you think of Pulis, Lambert and Hughes, who nobody really wanted. Rowe has been so well-received, and there's reasons for it. You know, he's young and he's hungry. He's got experience in the Championship and good experience in the Championship. He's done so well. And I think those players that want to stay, you know, they'll love Rowe. I think for those that don't want to stay and for those who don't want to play for Stoke City, he'll come down on them hard. Roll in the Championship. Based on the managers that were shortlisted, I think Rowett's definitely the best of the bunch. He's obviously got a great record in the Championship with Derby and he did a very good job at Birmingham as well based on the funds and uh, the backing that he did have at the clubs. Um, I think once given the infrastructure at Stoke, the financial backing of the Coates family, I think he's the right man to take us to that next level. Um, and based on the fact that he was unable to get Derby out of the Championship this year, I think he's going to be as hungry as ever to take Stoke uh, back to the Premier League. Very pleased with the appointment of Gary Rowan. I think he's now got the chance to build his own squad, install his philosophy on the side and set out to do exactly what he wants and get this side back to the Premier League on the first attempt. And if nothing else, it has now banded the fans together and everyone is coming together for the same cause and that is to get Stoke City back in the Premier League. Pretty happy with the appointment of Rowett. I think he'll he'll do a good job. Um, slightly concerned about the uh, the lack of experience with the squad, so uh, at this level, uh, slightly concerned that he's he's never been promoted, uh, with Derby sort of failing this this season. Um, but if he can keep hold of the back four, if he can keep hold of Joe Allen, uh, I think uh, looking at the stat show uh, recently, it, it shows that he plays a good formation that would probably suit the, the players that we've got already. So uh, best of luck to him. Alright guys, just a quick video on the appointment of Gary Rowett, good young up and coming manager, uh, has ambitions to manage in the Premier League which can only be good for us. It's always nice to wind up the Derby fans as well and throw our weight about as one of the bigger clubs in the division, certainly from a financial point of view. Um, hats off to the board, uh, I was sure we were going to stick with Lambert and when Lambert did go, uh, I was convinced it was going to be Mick McCarthy or Alan Pardew or someone someone like that. So very happy with this appointment. Uh, just need to get some players in now.